What's happening boys? We are back with another YouTube video. So today's video I'm going to switch it up a wee bit and I'm going to take you to the gym with me because my last two videos have been a day in the life and a full day eating and you're probably wondering, do you even fucking go to the gym mate? Do you even train? Well aye, a day actually. But I never even planned to do a video today. I just decided in the last 15 minutes to pick my phone up and start filming a YouTube video. That's how fucking raw and unplanned my videos are mate. Ooh. You're hard, showing off. Aye, so today I've got posterior in the gym, so that is back, hamstrings and glutes, and I've also got deadlifts, so it's time to go and fucking snap ourselves in half, boys. As of right now, I'm going to make my pre-workout munchie, which is two bagels and five turkey rashers. So I'm going to go down, get it made, get it munched, get to the gym, get a session in, come back, get the steps in, go to sleep, and then day all air again, because that's all I do in my life. But we've not got long left, boys, so let's get downstairs and make my munchie. What's happening boys? So as you can see my food is already ready But as I said this video was actually unplanned as fuck I was just sitting making my bagels and turkey rashers and I was like ah, Why don't film a fucking YouTube video? So here we are Five turkey rashers with two bagels I've made it how I always like it Burnt to a fucking crisp I don't know what it is about crispiness I just love the feeling of crispiness See like that noise? Mm. The texture, I care more about texture than taste so that is our next meal. Gonna be sticking a bit of lighter than light mayo. Mel it shiter than shite. That was piss part. Of. But anyway, 15 calories per tablespoon, so then we're gonna be washing it down with that. Enough water to launch a Queen Mary. Because I need to go in the bowl with my water intake now. Need to be having about four litres a day, so spank to a rain a day, sorted, and it's dealt with. Anyway. Smash a wee bit of mayo on that. That'll do. I'm a plain Jane man. Keep it simple, you know what I mean? Mmm. Honestly. See crispy bacon and crispy turkey rashers. Shit so they normal ones. Oh yeah them. It's even just a dry crispy bagel. Brilliant. So it's like tuna on a fucking bit of leather, but to be honest. But you can't go wrong. I mean, you say you don't like that, then what's something to like? It's fucking plain. I was meant to be going to a different gym today. I was meant to be going to a gym in co-winning, performance gym. Because I was meant to have posing lessons. But I got no car, crashed my car, put a picture up of what happened to my car. So I've not got a car anymore, so I've got no way of getting there. So, good old pro life it is. So I don't know whether I'm going to just do a voiceover or just take the camera in with me and just film that way. Smell after he's brilliant. Also, obviously I'm still just sussing out all this YouTube stuff, but my last video came up as a copyright claim. I don't know how. I don't know if I spoke about something or something I said or something. Or if someone reported me. I just decided to do a video because I've got a big video coming next week where I'm taking a videographer with me, a boy Evan for the gym. And he's like a videographer. He's coming to my photo shoot on Monday with me. And we're gonna film a big video together for my YouTube. But I just decided I want to get another man out there. I could be training video for you, so you haven't seen me in the gym yet. It's gonna be similar to one of my TikToks again. Just me training, I'll either do a voiceover or just take the camera in with me and just video my session, stick a wee bit of music in that one feast. I will get in there now. Photo shoots on Monday, shows in three weeks. The end is near, it's the final push now. Can't wait for a cheeseburger, mate. This is the order of food I'm going for. So I'm going, I want a crispy creme, very first thing. I want a donut, I've been, been watching videos of kids eating donuts for fuck knows how long now. I want McDonald's, I want to go to the little bakery, I want a Domino's and I want just a big glass of milk with hundreds of biscuits. Ah, oh, man. I cannot fucking wait. So, hi boys, that is that meal absolutely dealt with. That got absolutely polished off. So, it's now time to get upstairs and get a wash and get ready because it's about half twelve and I've no fucking washed it, pure tramp. So, I'm gonna go up, get myself ready, and then we're gonna head to the gym for a big fat, juicy fucking back session. So, I'll see you there. 
Yes boys, what's happening? So we've made it to the gym in one piece So first up, standard procedure You want to pull your shorts up as high as you can go Wedgie, fuck it yourself and get the Simon Peggs out on show So as I said boys, we've got posterior the day So for anyone that doesn't know what that is That is back hamstrings and glutes So just essentially the full back side of your body So we're starting off with some lying hamstring curls I hate having these at the start of my session Because I just lie down and I don't want to get back up But hamstrings are a big, big focus for me at the moment Because they're the last thing to come in Everything else has leaned out pretty well across my body But my hamstrings are still to come in and they're taking ages and it's day my So we just done two sets of 11 to 15 reps Gone as slow as we fucking possibly could That's what I'm mostly focusing on every time I do these Is going as slow as I can and adding a few pauses in as well So that it really fucking brings the cheese and hammies out when they get a bit leaner And as you can tell by looking at me I'm absolutely blowing out my ass. You would think I'm just recovering for a panic attack or something But no I'm just recovering for two sets of that horrible fucker Then we jumped onto the hip thrust And before you say it, yes boys can use this as well When I'm getting in this machine and I'm putting that seatbelt over me I just close my eyes and pretend I'm on an aeroplane flying away to fuck for here and never coming back until I lift the weight up and start and go oh wait I'm in the gym of course I'm never fucking out the place I'm in there more than the cleaners honestly but again this is another big focus for me and honestly before I'd even booked my show or anything like that I didn't realise how big a part to play your glutes had in terms of bodybuilding any pose that you hit for the back the judges are not just looking at your back they're also looking at your hammies and your wee bum bum which is a bit mad now that I come to hinky it but nah all jokes aside that's why they're a big focus for me because I've mega neglected the both of them since I started the gym on the booty builder I I've done a top set of about 6 to 9 reps and two back off sets of about 11 to 15 reps and I'll tell you the now, see if you need a shite before you go on this, good luck mate and you better have the clean up crew at the ready because you're 100% shite in all the place as you can see this thing absolutely folded me like a deck chair honestly don't know what girls like about this, it feels fucking horrible now it's time to snap our backs in half with deadlifts I just started off by having a wee wiggle about so that I didn't completely snap in two when I went to lift the bar off the ground we just started off with 60kg just to get it started, absolute push case canter, felt like fit here, absolutely nothing on the bar. Then we added another two plates, so this is a hundred kg now. And oh, look, he's got the straps on. Oh, is that going to be heavy, mate? You're going to be able to get that? Are you joking? Of course I'm a pish case, piece of cake. Nah, seriously, but I actually really like doing a hundred kg because it actually feels so good. It's no too heavy and it's no too light. I just really like doing it. Things are getting a wee bit spicy now. We've got a hundred and forty. Still moved like absolute butter. Now that I'm watching this back, the bar's mega squinty when I'm lifting it off the floor. I must have still had one of my shoes on or something. This is 190 kg I'm doing now. I did do 180, but I never press record on my phone. If you're watching this and you've seen any of my workout videos for TikTok, you'll know that I always forget to film at least one thing, and I truly mean that. I always come away for a session and I've either forgot to film one thing or never hit record on one of them. But no shock, there's 190 moving like absolutely nothing's on the bar. Only joking, that was heavy as fuck. As you can tell, my eyes look like they're about to burst out my fucking head. But we get two pretty decent reps. I was happy with that considering I genuinely could not be fucked even going to the gym today and I was absolutely cream cracker but thank fuck that's deadlifts done we now on to the rest of the session next we jumped onto some T-bar row we're using the wider grip here to target our upper back and I'm sorry about this horrible angle you can really see right up my wee shorts but it's because I need to put my phone sideways so it was the only real place I could put it on these we've done a top set of about 6 to 9 reps and then two back off sets of about 11 to 15 reps I wish my gym had a chest supported one of these but you've just got to make do with what you've got next we jumped onto some close grip lat pull down genuinely just took me about 5 tries to try and get that out properly what a fucking tongue twister that was these honestly salvaged my full session because I was having a bit of a Robbie Fowler the day but a few sets of these saved me because they just felt so fucking damn good putting the close grip on this targets your mid to upper back for anyone that actually cares but honestly it feels amazing so get a bash done two sets of about 12 to 15 reps on these then we jumped onto this chest supported row but I like to do them single arm because I can just feel it a lot better and also check the veins crawling up my quads that is absolutely unhealthy looking but aye anyways back to the exercise instead of using two hands on these I like to use one hand to rest against the chest press and then with your hand that you're using you want to think about driving your elbow down into your hip honestly doing it this way is just night and day to doing it with both hands done two sets of about 12 to 15 reps on these and when I'm saying two sets of 12 to 15 reps I go to feel you're on absolutely every single exercise so I don't even know why I'm saying the rep ranges then we've done some cable pullovers people normally use the smaller ropes for these but the thing is the longer rope you can find the better you're going to feel it because the longer the rope is you're going to be able to drive your elbows back a lot more and you're going to be able to get your hands a lot closer to your body and this is going to be able to stretch your lat a lot more I've never done a set of these and it's no felt amazing ever 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 I also done some rear delt flies on the pec deck as well but you'll never believe it I forgot to film it, kidding on, it wasn't that I forgot to film it, it was just where the pet deck is, it was far too busy for me to film. And you've got to respect people's personal space at the end of the day, I mean I wouldn't really like it if I was just halfway through a set and somebody came and sat a tripod on my knee. So anyway boys, that was us done, so I'll see you back at the house. What's happening boys? So that is us back home now. Definitely wasn't the best session in the world, but... 
no every session is going to be the best, especially as deep into the diet. I just see it as ticking boxes. I've been in, I get a decent wee pump. My back's pretty cooked, I can't ask for much more than that. Hit some pretty decent numbers on deadlift as well, so can't ask for much more. Just getting in and I'm just getting it done. That's all that matters at this point. Also, I want to show you something. So, Pro Life, the absolute fucking boys, hooked us up with a wee bit of drip to wear to my show. So, if they stick this t shirt on when I go to my show, rep right the gym and that, you know what I mean? So, shout out to Pro Life, the absolute fucking boys, man. If you've never been to Pro Life Fitness Centre, highly suggest you go to it. Best fucking gym in Paisley, best gym in Glasgow, best gym in Scotland, best gym in the world, mate. Really appreciate Pro Life for doing that for me, so shout out to them. I'll try it on for you. See how it looks. Can I knock a freebie? I fucking love free things. I hope they weren't thinking they were getting this back because they're absolutely no. Oh, I like that. We were oversized. I needed that because you don't want a tight tap to be wearing to the show because it'll be all caked and fake tan. So, aye, that's a perfect fit. This is getting absolutely bumped. So, anyway, boys, that is going to wrap up yet another YouTube video. So, it's something a wee bit different today, a wee training video for you. So, let me know what you think here and keep your eyes peeled because the next video is going to be a biggie. That is going to be my photo shoot. So I'm just going to be taking you to the photo shoot, showing you behind the scenes, what I'm eating before it, what I'm doing after it. Just spending a full day with you and taking you with me. The content is going to be a lot better for the photo shoot video because I'm taking Evan with me. So the content's going to be 10 10 because he's taking his big camera with him. And I'm not going to be filming off my shy TV phone for once. Keep your eyes peeled for that. As for right now, I'm away here to make a munchie because I've no weight since before I went to the gym and that was about fucking four hours ago because I spent far too long in the gym talking shit. So as always boys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm still really enjoying making these so far. So I hope you are still enjoying watching them because there's plenty more to come. As always, a like, a comment and a wee subscribe is always much appreciated. It goes a long way and I appreciate all the support so far. But anyway boys, I'm going to make a one shake because I'm fucking starving. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!